Hello YouTube, Droid Freak here, and I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a public service announcement about why stacked minecarts with chests are incredibly awesome. Now first I'm going to show you a infinite storage design that I've seen other people use. Basically you just have a hopper facing into a rail block and another hopper facing out of the rail block, and you aim at the bottom sliver of the rail block and you can place a whole bunch of minecart chests in the same spot. So you could theoretically throw a ton of items into this top chest and these minecart so this chest would fill up and whenever you pull items out of the bottom chest they'll continue feeding items into it. So it's an alternative to a tower of chests similar to what you see here. But why is it three? That's weird. Maybe the pulling in and pulling out thing isn't working quite as I expected it to. Anyways, this is not the main thing that I'm showing off. In any case, it transfers down basically one item every hopper tick into the chest at the bottom. So, it's pretty slow. As you can see, this chest was full of diamonds. It's only down like two and a quarter stacks since I started talking. So the the items don't really filter through the system very fast, although it's the same as any other single hopper system of chess. And I mean, it's it's cool. You can fit a whole lot of storage in one block, but it's not as good as minecarts with chess can be because not only can they act as a whole lot of storage in one block they can also move a whole lot of items around so currently I have these this tower of chess feeding into these minecarts down here and notice that it is going down much faster at the moment because I'm actually feeding two hoppers into the minecart chests at once because you can bring two hoppers off of each double chest in this chain. So this is a, a faster version to faster way to feed the minecarts with chests, and the only one that I can see is currently full. When you when you click on a stack of minecart chests, generally you can only see one of them no matter where you click from. Even though obviously they're not all full because the items are still feeding out. But besides being able to hold lots of items in one block, they can also move around. And get this, when they move around, they don't slow down if they don't have powered rails. Notice that none of these rails are powered rails except for that one right there. But if I send the minecarts back and forth along this rail line, they navigate the whole thing at top speed, including this hill right here. The hill doesn't even slow them down. So having stacked minecarts with chests is a very good way to transfer items around because, well, not only do the the minecarts not need power rails to move, they also carry a whole lot of items in one place. That texture derping looks really weird. And as you can see, the area where I've set up the minecart chests at the end, there are about four hoppers. So this output chest down here is receiving four items at once. So items are feeding into this chest much faster than the single hopper version over here, which is still going on its first row. And as you can see, this one is almost done with its first row already. <laughs> because transferring through four hopper bandwidth like this is much, much faster than a single hopper. And that is... I think the fastest value that you can possibly achieve because, I mean, you have one entity here, it can only intersect with four block corners at once, basically. And it's done with the first row. It already surpassed the single, <laughs> the single hopper design. So this is a great way to store and transfer items. I'll probably be using this on Freakcraft. And... This has been a little public service announcement 
on why stacked minecarts with chests are incredibly awesome. And why this thing is awesome too. This setup that I have going. <laughs> I just love this. I mean, it feeds it in at twice the speed of a normal, of a single hopper. And you just send it up, and it just goes up this hill. <laughs> I mean, no powered rails, and it just goes. I love stacked minecarts. They're so awesome. With my like Mojang, it's probably gonna patch them in 1.8 already or something. But I don't, I don't think they've announced any plans to patch this, and I don't know if anyone has reported it as a bug because, I mean, the only reason why you'd run into it is because you want to use it. I mean, it's not like you accidentally place a whole bunch of minecarts in one place. But yeah, this is an announcement to to all you guys about how cool stacks of minecarts are and how to get the most out of your stacks of minecarts by placing them on top of four hoppers at once. And with that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.